Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. This is my first like real day of spring break. Like the weekend doesn't count, you know? And my goal for today is to get as many things checked off of my to-do list as I possibly can on the first day of spring break so that hopefully with my next couple days of spring break, I can relax a little bit. But today I just want to get stuff done. So it's about 8.30 and I'm going to start errands now. Let me show you my to-do list for this week. This is my planner. I love this planner and normally, you know, like it's really cute. I just kind of write down my to-do list stuff here. But this week I had started writing down all my things I need to do and then Jensen came and scratched everything out and I feel like this is just a perfect metaphor for how this week will probably go. So anyway, I just put a to-do list right here and we are going to try to check all those things off today. I've been cleaning and organizing all weekend and I never ever thought I would do this. Like I used to think this was just like the bougiest thing of all time. I called somebody to come help us with like deep cleaning because either I could spend all day today by myself cleaning the house and like maybe finish it or I could get some help with it and it could be done in an hour or two. We don't have a very big apartment. It's just so hard when you have a two year old to keep things clean. So. It is really messy right now, even though I've been cleaning all weekend. So um, I need to do a bunch of stuff though before people come. I need to get Jensen to daycare. So let's wake him up. Good morning, papas. Good morning. Good morning. Poor guy, he woke up really congested. <laughs> he doesn't wanna get up. Oh, he doesn't feel well. Um, he's also in a really bad mood. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. He does not want to do this right now. So. Okay, errand number one. We're at the Goodwill. We're going to drop off a couple of bags. Poor Jensen is just still not feeling very good. One thing I try to do to make him feel better. We're listening to my husband's album. So this is, this is daddy, Jensen. It's daddy. <laughs> he literally just shrugged his shoulder. <laughs> I've got this stuff back here that we need to drop off and then we need to go to the bank and we'll go get, <coughs> get some Starbucks. Mommy, mommy. Yeah, yeah. And the gate. There's some gates over there? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Okay, we gotta go to the bank. I need to get some cash. And we have a credit union, and I am wondering if they have any information about like good reconsolidation programs. Is that what it's called <laughs> for your student loans? I need to be a responsible adult and get my student loans paid off somehow. And we need to go to Starbucks. Jensen, you wanna get cookies at Starbucks? Yeah. Okay. Are you stuck? You're stuck though? Okay, we'll get you out. <laughs> Okay, Jensen is feeling much better. I got him dropped off at daycare and I had time to get my car like cleaned on the inside and the outside. I also talked to the guy at the bank about like uh, student loan repayment programs and stuff. And the one that I was looking into, he didn't recommend. He just recommended SoFi. And basically it just doesn't look like there's gonna be an easy way to do that. I don't qualify for like the loan forgiveness programs, um, you know, where you work in like a Title I district. Even though I did work in a Title I district for four years, but you need five years minimum. And I don't teach like a high need subject like math or science. So I'm just gonna have to repay the money that I borrowed. <laughs> like there's not really gonna be an easy way to get out of this, but my loans are currently about $900 a month. Like that's how much my payments are. And I've just been deferring them because I can't 
make a $900 a month payment. So that's another like, like today I'm just trying to do all of the like adult things. So I need to put away the dishes. I'm trying to clean up as much as possible. Even though people are coming to help me, you know, there's things they sh should not have to do, like my dishes, that's silly. So also, we only have one like washer and dryer for our whole building, like everybody in this apartment complex uses the same washer and dryer and they're both broken. So that's lovely, so I can't do any laundry, but it is being taken care of, so it's just one of those days today. <laughs> Okay, taking a quick break from cleaning. I organized a bunch of Jensen's toys. How many little cars can one kid have? So, now I'm going to mail my DMV registration. I'm doing more adult things. I've had this envelope sitting on my desk like forever and I just kept forgetting to mail it. So I'm gonna mail my DMV registration and pick up my dry cleaning. I'm multitasking again. Now I have a video meeting with um, the Flocabulary people. Anybody else use Flocabulary? I love Flocabulary and so um, there are a group of teachers that just like um, present on Flocabulary at conferences and just kind of like promote it on social media just because we love it. So since it's spring break we're gonna do a little video chat because we normally don't have a chance to do that. So I'm gonna jump on this Zoom call and see what this is all about. I am currently eating the Habit burger and I'm watching YouTube videos on my phone about how to budget because that's what I'm trying to take care of today too. It's super bright out here, I need sunglasses, but one funny thing about living in LA that happens like all the time, at least in our neighborhood, is producers from TV shows have to drop off these like notices of filming. So they film stuff around here all the time. Like almost every morning when I leave for work, there are film crews somewhere in the neighborhood. Or when I come home, there's like big trucks full of, you know, costumes and props and stuff. Not really like right on our street, but just like kind of around us. So this lady with like a fanny pack was walking around dropping off these papers. I always want to know what it is too. Something called Heart of Life, a pilot episode for 20th century. All right, so our place is pretty clean now. It looks so like nice and fresh. I just needed somebody to help me come do like behind the couch and behind the bed and like all the baseboards and all the window sills and everything that just like takes forever. So just wanted to also do an outfit of the day for you today. This is just my spring break in look. This shirt is from Nellie Taft. They do a bunch of just like cute t-shirts and stuff. They're all made in the US. So I like this one, it just seemed very springy. And then I think that these jeans are from Just Black Denim, which is also a brand made in the US. And then these sandals are by Seiko, and they are fair trade. They're made in Uganda, I believe. So while the house is actually clean, do you wanna see my office? Okay, it's very bright in here. This is my office, this is my desk, this is what you usually see when I do my videos. Right here I have a lot of like planners. These are like my old Erin Condren planners and then books. These used to be like books I was planning on reading. Some of them I've already read. I need to like organize that section better so that it's like to be read books. Up here I just have a couple of things. This is my autographed CD by Gregory Porter. I love him. He is my favorite male vocalist ever and then I got this at the Mariah Carey concert. She's my favorite female vocalist of all time. And then I recently got this uh, award at the Impact Driven Teacher Conference. A lot of the books I have right here are ones that I used for research for my masters. So a lot of that is like Virgin Islands history and stuff like that. Um, these are the things on my desk. I have a picture of me and Derek right after we got married. Actually in this little bag I have a bunch of um, like camera equipment, like little tiny things. Um, this is like a, a baby book for Jensen and just like papers I need to keep track of. This is my Bible journaling, scripture journaling thing that I have not been doing. 
my calendar, and just some like school supplies. I love these clear storage boxes from Yubi. No, not Yubi, Muji, Muji. <laughs> these are really nice, you can see what's in them. I have my little Too Cool for Middle School stickers. Some cups over here, some mugs. This is a card my coworker made me a couple years ago. We also have a really nice keyboard in here. I like this a lot, actually. Kind of makes my map look off center, but it's a Yamaha and it has weighted keys. So I like that it has weighted keys. I'm not gonna turn it on right now. You've probably seen videos of Jensen playing it. <laughs> And then this is my chair. I got this at Target, I believe. And then like hiding down here, those are Jensen's old baby clothes. I'm not sure if I should be keeping them. I don't know, I just keep that under there. And then that like suitcase looking box thing has all my old journals in it. <laughs> so normally you can't really see that, but you can right now. And then behind us, I love that there are like built-in bookshelves right here. I love this little section of the apartment. This is like what sold it for us. I need to do a video on all my Dear Evan Hansen stuff and finish my Dear Evan Hansen resource and put that all up. So this is like my inspiration to do that. This is something that I came across in my master's research. This is a painting that Rothschild Francis painted for W.E.B. Du Bois as a New Year present. So this is really, really special. This is one of my and Derek's engagement pictures. So cute. Just a little reminder, a little candle. And then over here are some books that I have been meaning to read. And then this really cool like um, book end thing um, is from one of my coworkers for Christmas too, actually this year. He made this for me. This is from the, the woodshop teacher. Here in the corner, it's kind of a mess. I have some wrapping paper and then this is my tripod for when I do videos and then my camera is down there. Normally these are just like set up just so that it's easy, but yeah, not right now. Over here, I have like some beauty items. Like those are hair extensions that I used one time in my life. I should probably just get rid of them. And then a ton of nail polish. And now I don't even do my own nails. I always just get them done, so I probably don't need that many. Um, we've got some more books over here. And then this is just kind of like a hodgepodge. Like these are a bunch of like pictures and cards and stuff. My old laptop that I need to get some files off of. More like cards and pictures and stuff down here. So the only thing about having like exposed shelves is, yeah, they don't look that great. But then over here I have a bunch of books that are, they were kind of like Roy G. Biv organized. I don't really know what happened to them now. And then this is a lot of my like sheet music from when I taught piano lessons have a bag here that needs to go to school. So um, these windows right here, these are my lighting for all of my YouTube videos because there is not enough room in here for me to also put lighting, like if I wanted to make a video at night. It's just way too harsh, I've tried it before, there's just not enough space between like here and here, so it doesn't work. Also, there's only one outlet in this whole thing and it's over here, so, and it's not like a double one and it doesn't have that little thing where you can put um, a surge protector in there, so you don't get much power over here because this is a really old apartment. <laughs> but I do just love this little corner. This is just my little nook and it's my special place. Okay, and now I only have 20 minutes before my call, but I just like really need some lemonade or something. <laughs> we have nothing to drink here. I mean, I could just have water, but I feel like I just like need a quick like pick me up before I get on this call. So I'm gonna run to Starbucks and then run back and do my call and then go do our taxes and then go get Jensen. And after that, we will mess up everything <laughs> in this apartment. Okay, cool, so I am done with the call. This particular campaign will turn around like pretty quickly. Like sometimes there are things that I do that I don't get to talk about for like a year. Oh, I have one of those coming up actually <laughs> that's finally coming out this month that I will get to tell you about soon. Uh, this one's gonna be really fast though. So, okay, now that's done, I need to gather up my stuff and head over to the tax office and meet my husband there and do our taxes and then go get Jensen and return some stuff to Target. I'm just I'm just going through my to-do list today. Huh? 
Hi, what are you building? Like an airplane? Okay, I'm sitting down. I'll make an airplane with you. Yeah. Great. As I make an airplane, so we got our taxes done. Well, almost done. We need to bring a few more pieces of paperwork. Um, I made my returns at Target. We got some rice and beans for dinner, and then in a few minutes, actually, Derek was going to check on some more of the paperwork, and then he's gonna come home and like switch me, and I'm gonna go to a book club Bible study thing, and I did not do the reading, and I feel very unprepared, but I don't have to get up early tomorrow, so I'm just gonna go and be there and act like I did. Oh, Jensen's eating his rice and beans. Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for hanging out with me on this just day of getting stuff done. It honestly sounded better to me to just stay home for my spring break and just get things done. I've got more on my list for tomorrow and for Wednesday. Oh, good job. My parents are actually gonna be around on Friday, so I have like things lined up all week just to get done. And actually, like that's my self care is like getting things checked off my to-do list, so. I'm happy with this. Hi. Hi, Jensen. Hi. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for hanging out with me today, and maybe we'll do this again tomorrow. This is the fifth of five videos that I have been doing this week since I've been on spring break, so um, there are quite a few that went up the past couple of days in case you haven't seen those, and maybe we'll just be on a roll. Maybe we'll make this like seven out of seven. It was fun taking you along today. I think I'll take you along again tomorrow. So anyway, see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.